Okay, so I try. I actually filmed this look last week. Went to edit it, and I was out of shot about seventy-five percent of it. It was an absolute disaster. So here I am again, trying to film this eye tutorial kind of thing for you. So at the end of my videos, I always kind of put wee bloopers in. So some of the bloopers are going to be from the first time I filmed this video. Um, just because, you know, I might as well put them in. Um, but yeah, if you want to see how I did this eye, then just keep watching. So I'm well aware that I look a bit crazy right now. Um, I did have an eye look on before this. So I just took that off. Kind of fixed the foundation round about. I don't usually do my eyes after a foundation. So this might go horribly wrong. But we'll see. So the palette that I'm using is the Morphe Jacqueline Hill. Um, this is just the original one. Mine has been used and abused. I have tried to clean this and that's about as clean as I can get it. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to go in with this wee shade here first. So when I'm doing like a kind of winged out look, I like to go in with a darker shade first. Um, and kind of blend up and then back down. You'll see what I mean while I'm doing it. So I'm just taking this on a Peaches and Cream PC 22. So it's just a very, very, very small kind of blending brush. And there we go. So with this one, I like to kind of slightly wiggle the brush. Um, I just like the way it packs the colour on, but slightly blends the colour at the top. Um, so I do that and first I'll get the colour in my crease. And then I'll wing that wee bit out. So just building that colour up first. So I'll kind of get the colour to about that stage. And then I'll start to wing it out. So putting very, very light pressure onto the brush. I just kind of drag that colour out. So I'm hardly putting any pressure on it at this point. Um, just because you're not wanting it to be too heavy or dark. There you go, and I'll probably leave it about there so you can see I've got that kind of shape that I want. Um, and then for the rest of the eyeshadow, I'll just kind of follow that line. So now that I've got that shape, I'm just going to go in with a slightly lighter colour. What I'll do is I will leave all the shade names for the eyeshadows in the wee description below. So with this shade, it is slightly lighter, but nothing too light. And with this, I'm taking it on just a, another small fluffy brush. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH40. And with this one, I'm kind of keeping that shadow half on what I've already done and then half on the kind of where there's no product. So this kind of blends out the shade below. Um, well blending up the way. Yeah, if you can't tell, I am absolutely awful at trying to describe things, so hopefully you will all understand what I'm saying. As you can see, there's not like a massive difference between those two colours. And then, same when I get to this part, I'm not putting a lot of pressure, but with that shade, I'm gonna take it out just a little bit further. So you can see, still got that shape, but it's bringing it upwards. And then, yes, I'm going to take another brush. Um, and this one is, again, so I, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I like to work on brushes that are quite small. The Morphe Jeffree Star JS12. And with this one, I'm going to take an even lighter colour than before. So then with this one, I'm going to start doing circle motions. And that will blend, start to blend all the colours out so that you're left with a lovely seamless blend. So kind of when I get to this point, I don't do massive flake circles. I kind of go side to side and then slightly buff. Just because I like there to be a bit up here where there's no product. And then again, just... Pulling that out slightly further than I have with the shades before. So it doesn't matter if the shadows start to dull down a bit because we're going to go back in with the shades we used before, used before and um, kind of deepen the colour 
again. So I'm not worried about things looking dull at the moment. So yeah, at the minute you can see that's those three colours on and it's really giving that shape and that kind of winged out effect. Okay, so I don't know if the lighting changed but I do apologise if it did. Sorry. Um, so now that I've kind of done that, I'm going to go back in with the shades I used before and deepen those covers. So, obviously the one at the top, I wouldn't say I need to deepen anything because as kind of that transition, it's blended everything into the skin. So then I'm going to go in with the shade I used just before that and deepen that one up. Because I like everything to look nice and rich when it comes to browns. But you just want everything to look really blended together, no harsh lines. So definitely when you're doing like an eyeshadow look, take your time with it um, and just make sure you keep blending. If you see any harsh bits, go back in and blend it with, even if you take like, um, like a clean brush and just blend it. And then I'm going in with the first shade I used, just to deepen that bit. Um, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm doing the Jamie Genevieve um, Week of Colour Challenge. So today is orange. And I'm actually really enjoying it. I wasn't sure whether I was going to do it or not, but I'm, I think it's great. It kind of gives you an idea of every day of kind of, here's a colour, go play with it. Because I feel like it's kind of given me colours that I wouldn't tend to to go for. Like I would wouldn't necessarily tend to go for like a bright orange eye, just orange. Or like a bright red eye. So I'm enjoying it. Let me know down below in the comments if any of you guys are taking part. Um and pop your wee Instagrams now. Go check your work pages out because I love seeing what everyone else is doing with stuff like this. So at this stage I'm gonna go in with another small brush. This is the my kit cool 1.2 so this one's really small and I'm going to take a wee bit of black on that and just ever so slightly deepen that just there and I feel like because of going in with like the darker colours in that first that this makes the black really easy to work with because it just blends nicely into um, the colours above the next bit if you've not tried this trick out then you need to try it because this has changed my life I think it was P. Louise that maybe came out with this um, but honestly it is the best trick ever and it is using Vaseline to cut your crease this amazing I mean this tub is absolutely massive and I think it's probably like two three pounds but it's brilliant right so I am going in with the one of the um, P. Louise acid rain brushes it's just like a wee flat brush so I like to get a good amount on my brush and then kind of take off the excess on the back of my hand wait and see this magic so I like to kind of wiggle the brush from side to side kind of cut in the crease where I will place some product so at first when you do this it looks a bit strange because the product isn't going to come right off then I'm going to take a wee cotton bud and go right in with that and that just removes any product you can see that it's just amazing because before this cutting the crease i wouldn't really remove the product and i would just feel my eyelids just felt really heavy and just really cakey because there was so much product on the eyelid whereas this wee trick just takes that right off and it's just bloody brilliant. So yeah, if you've not tried that and you like doing a good like cut crease or half cut crease, then you need to try it out like right now. Next step is I'm gonna go in with this product here. So this is the Jordana Tisha, what's this called? Base and Sparkle, and this is in the shade Stargazer. So that I love this wee guy. It's such an easy thing to use. Because on top you've got, it's like a cream base and then in the bottom you've got the wee sparkle to pop on top. Um, so I'm not actually going to go in with like Pee Louise base or anything, I'm literally just going to cut the crease with that cream base on top. Right, so I'm going to start to cut that crease with that. I 
again if you're doing a cut crease this is part that I think is definitely you need to take your time like there's no point in rushing this bit because otherwise it's going to end up messy and just a hot mess so I'm not going to take the product any further than that I'm going to take the sparkle I don't know if you'll be able to see this without me spilling it just going to take that sparkle and pop that on top so I'm just going to go in with another E flat So now that I've got that on, I'm going to go back in with a few of the brushes I used earlier and just kind of blend. So you can see that's still got the winged out effect, but it's just kind of bringing everything together. Now I'm going to go in with just a wee bit of the Peaches and Cream Bollywood pigment and just go over that's going to add just a wee bit extra sparkle. If you feel like a wee bit extra. Now I'm just going to pop a wee bit of eyeliner on top. I'm going to take my Wonder Ink Eyeliner by Rimmel and pop on it with some liner. Get left with this wee guy and then I'm just going to take the brush I used the black on and then just kind of buff over the edge of that liner so everything again blends together and there's no harsh line between the liner and the eyeshadow. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go off camera and do this eye and then I'll come back and show you underneath. Here we go. So I went off camera and did this eye. I did actually bug it up here so I'm glad you did not see that. Um, but yeah, all I did is I added a wee bit of liner in the waterline and um, kind of highlight in the inner corner. So I'm just going to take colour underneath. Um, and there's nothing that interesting to it but just in case people want to see, I'll show you. So I'm literally just going to take the same brushes I used on top and take the same colours down below. So I'm going to actually go in with the lightest shade I used first and just sweep that underneath. So this one doesn't have like a lot of colour to it so you probably won't be able to see it very well. And then I'm going to take the colour and just sweep that underneath. And I kind of always kind of flick it up towards where it wings out with these colours because you want everything to kind of blend together and it give you that nice kind of winged out effect. Something in my eye. There we go. So I think I'm not going to add any more, but that's kind of the level of darkness that I like underneath. So I always keep the darkness kind of on the outer corner and then have it going later. So the same as on top, darkness to the outer corner and then lighter on the inner corner. So I've decided that I'm not actually going to add any lashes on right now because I've had lashes on already this morning and I just can't bother putting any lashes on so I'm just going to stick to mascara. So if I was going out with this look then I definitely would put lashes on but I'm not going anywhere so mascara will do. So that is the finished look everyone. Um, I have had a wee bit of fallout if you can see any wee black dots but that's because I tend to do my eyes before my base so I went okay considering I don't like doing my eyes after I've done foundation but I think it's gone alright. Um, but yeah I hope you all enjoyed this wee video and I hope I actually explained things alright because I know I'm not the best at explaining but I will get better. Um, but yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. Now we'll see you later. Bye. Got me some snacks. So at this stage what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a mall and a little bit. Okay, the main thing you need to have. <sighs> oh, what 
Pone aviso.